Derek Sloan is 100% right about what he said about Dr. Teresa Tam. It is fair criticism. It is not racist, yet he is being labeled such in the media in the most ridiculous way. So if you saw this a video from the CTV, I almost said CBC, but it's the CTV being equally CBC-esque today, basically saying, Derek Sloan has said racist comments against uh, Dr. Teresa Tam. This is just like, and then they go on to show a video of a 92-year-old Asian man being assaulted in a convenience store, saying that uh, his comments equal an assault of, of an elderly Asian man, which is asinine in the extreme. Now, what did he actually say? He called it Teresa Tam for essentially serving China's interests. Now, the fact that she does have some Asian ancestry, that's the conflation here. That's what they're going on. You're being, people on Twitter saying, just because she's Asian and a woman, this is what... No, because she's failed at her job is why she's being criticized, right? She's sort of the face. She's Canada's Dr. Anthony Fauci, okay? She's not above criticism. And we have to look at what she has done consistently failed, consistent failure on Dr. Tam's, uh, on Dr. Han Tam's account, especially when it comes to holding the WHO and China to account. And not only has she failed, but her failures have been obvious and it have put Canadians' lives at risk. So we can all go back to the um, January 14th tweet by the WHO where they said there's been no evidence of human-to-human -human transmission in China. Now, we know that China had, had um, reports of COVID-19 as early as November, but in January, mid-January, they're still lying. The WHO pushed this. Dr. Teresa Tam swallowed it wholesale. And she was against shutting down uh, flights from China. She also was against shutting down flights from virus hotspots. That would do nothing. Well, now it's now it's what we all do. She was against wearing masks when the WHO was against wearing masks. Oh, now she's for wearing masks. So on every single aspect where she has been asked to say, here is a statement from the WHO, or China, same thing. And it's probably not true. Like, we can all assume it's not true. She has 100% fallen in line with an obvious propagandistic lie from the Chinese government. Obvious. Now, this criticism equally applies to Justin Trudeau and Patty Heiju. Now, the reason why Dr. Tam bears more responsibility is because she is the doctor. She should know better. Patty Heiju is a health minister, but she's clearly a diversity hire. She's just some lady that Justin Trudeau brought in for his diversity. Now, if it was Jane Philpott, we can go back and say, you know, how much better would the government be if Jane Philpott was still here? Uh, it'd be another story. I, I, I think we'd actually be better off. I don't think Philpott... Philpott showed integrity. Philpott showed that she actually values the lives of human beings above Chinese propaganda. Um, so too bad she's not here. Um, but I don't, I, I, between Hanju and, and, and Trudeau, there's not half a brain between them. So I, I mean, I, I don't hold them to the same account. I mean, they should, they're the prime minister and the health minister and, and they're important right now, but no one really thinks they have a, 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 a brain between them. Uh, Tam does, Tam does. Dr. Tam does have the ability to detect lies. There's still another lie flowing out there. China has basically maintained over the last month that they've stopped the coronavirus and they're at 83,000 cases. They haven't moved above. Right? Everyone says, oh, America now is the most cases in the world. You're, you're lying to yourselves. Obviously, China has developed more than zero cases in the last month. Obviously, we don't have the virus under control. China doesn't have the virus under control. Right? There's reports that, I mean, we know that the lab in Wuhan was testing coronavirus. Now, there are different strains, so we don't know if it's this exact strain, but they were testing coronaviruses on bats, and that just happened to leak out. You know, was it intentional? I think it's probably just Chinese incompetence. I think it's it's bureaucracy and communism, and, and someone might have sold the test on animals to a market, assuming they'd be cooked or whatever, and then, you know, they weren't in poor health standards, and boom. I mean, that's, that's all together reasonable. But on every single account where it has come to, is this line from the WHO, can we trust it? Every single time she has, she has said, yes, that is absolutely true, even though it looked like 99% of the chance it's going to be false and then proven to be false, right? Masks, human-to-human -human transmission, um, uh, lockdown of flights, uh, and every single account. When it's come to this this aspect that D Derek Sloan pointed out, every single account Tam has failed on, 100% failure rate. And now pointing this out, it's been labeled racist, right? It's racist and, and Bob Ray and Jagmeet Singh. I mean, all the idiots are coming out of the woodwork to criticize Derek Sloan. And here's where this is a good thing, because I've been saying this is needed to happen to either um, Sloan or Leslie Lewis for a long time. This will be a key determining factor in Derek Sloan's campaign going forward, because to be a, a dark horse conservative candidate, right? We're not talking about uh, Peter McKay, who's 
you know, halfway towards a liberal party, and Aaron O'Toole, who just he would go to the liberal party if, if it suited him. Right? The two conservative candidates in the conservative race, Lewis and Sloan, they need to show that they can stand in the line of fire and fight back. If Derek Sloan doesn't uh, apologize if Derek Sloan doubles down and if Derek Sloan stands his ground here and says, no, this is legitimate criticism. I don't care. He, he has a much better shot at winning because right now he's trending. What he should do is keep firing. Keep firing Derek Sloan. If you keep firing, you can make a name for yourself. And I guarantee you, most Canadians, if you just keep a level head and say, here's why I'm criticizing Dr. Tam. She's failed here, 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 and here. We have a systemic problem within this government of capitulating to Chinese propaganda. Example A, B, C. Oh, Michael Cover, Michael Spavrick still held captive. You know, this is the Prime Minister of Myers' basic dictatorship. I'd like to see him sort of broaden the criticism out from Tam to Heiju and Trudeau to sort of, it would be a smart move to just say, I'm hitting all three of them. This is my thing. Stand in line of fire. Show that you are not a coward and you have a much better shot of winning. I am very happy to see this from Sloan today. And and I'm now much higher in Sloan than I was before. And I, I suggest everyone go follow Derek Sloan on Twitter or something because he deserves it right now. Because good job, Derek Sloan. What Derek Sloan said was 100% right. And he did absolutely nothing wrong.